The original mandate to Sarens was to develop a customized piece of equipment that could place 38 precast footings for the new Champlain Bridge here in Montreal. Uh, the, the footings themselves are come in two different sizes, 11 by 11 meters and 11 by 9 meters, from anywhere from 5 to 15 meters tall and upwards of 1,000 tons. We have showed interest in two Sarens as uh, providing an equipment that would allow us to set the footing in a very hostile uh, water condition where the velocity is very high, the water is very shallow. So we required an equipment that would draft minimum water that would be capable to sail with a uh, 1,000 ton footing independent of any uh, supporting tugs. Unquestionably, the biggest challenge uh, that the FFI addressed was the precise positioning of all of these elements on the riverbed. The, the target was in layman's terms, to within the golf ball of design location. Um, to date, we've been successful with that. The floating foundation installer has two major components. The first component are the modular barges. They are built up from the Sarens modular barge system and are equipped with thrusters. There is four thrusters in the front and four thrusters in the back. Those floaters are also equipped with additional spuds and also several winches to perform the positioning and anchoring operations. The second main part of the floating foundation installer is the heavy lift frame. The heavy lift frame consists out of two Sarens modular lift towers, one on each of the barges, and those are then combined and linked together through a heavy girder frame on top of the two towers. The heavy lift system consists of four strand jacks, HLS 4500, and additional sliding and rotation systems. The separate pieces were all tested in Belgium, so rotator, skidding system, thrusters, but here it was the first time that it was assembled as a complete unit. First we're gonna start with the pre-tensioning of the strand jacks and make sure that the FFI is well centered on top of the footing. When that is done we can lift it up till it's completely clear of the supports and then we're slowly gonna sail back out of the finger pier. There we stop and we're gonna lower the footing to the water level and rotate it 90 degrees at the same time. When it's low enough, we're gonna connect all the tugger lines on the footing that are the guide cables which will plug the footing during transport. So when that is done, we're gonna sail to the installation zone where we stop again and then we bring out the six front and side anchor winches. So we plug the FFI and we can really exactly position the FFI on top of the installation zone. There we're going to start lowering again, the footing into the water. Once it's there, we can disconnect the slings again and just sail back to the finger pier. There are three things that make this project so particular. The first one was to build a heavy lifting system that was never tested before. The second one was to achieve such a big accuracy for the footing installation. And the third one was to achieve a footing installation within a 12-hour shift. When a customer approaches us, for any lifting or transport needs. Our sales department gets our R&D group into the mix and they work together with the client to define an appropriate solution based on the know-how we have and if possible also based on the in-house equipment and solutions available. In case solutions are not available within the group, we go the extra step and we develop additional solutions and come up with additional ways of performing the job. Our R&D group also follows any evolutions and market trends in the heavy lift and transport industry to keep on top of the game at all times. <music> 